League's Cup action, where Liga Mexicana play teams and the MLS teams. You guys are winning, right? I see more MLS teams oh than Liga Mexicana teams when I see these knockout yeah. stages. What's happening? Yeah, so <laughs> so League's Cup, uh, just to recap, it's all the Liga MX teams, all the MLS teams. They shut down both leagues for a month, and then they play a World Cup-style tournament. Mm -hmm. We are now in the round of 32 is done. We are into round of 16, and I am happy to report in my biased American self that 11 MLS teams remain, five Liga MX teams remain. There was a little bit of uh, Liga MX comeback uh, in the past, the last few fixtures, but listen... Now it's round of 16, um, and Lionel Messi has not played a Major League Soccer game, even though we've been talking all about Major League Soccer. He's only played in League's Cup, and Lionel Messi now has to go to FC Dallas with it 105 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is, Celsius. Can you do that math quickly? Uh, but he's going to have to go to 105 degree Frisco, Texas, and play in front of a sold-out crowd, and now we're going to probably see his first test because he's not playing at home in front of you know a bunch of whatever uh but really to be honest it comes down to the fact that um it's the opposite mls teams are it's the opposite going out well city he needs to show up in a burning day <laughs> not in a rainy it is, day it is yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. Why I'm laughing. that is good yes it's like what? A, a, uh, a hot sticky day in frisco texas <laughs> of all places uh it has to be done and not only that dude like lafc they had a liga mx opponent in juarez um, and I think they, they throttled them seven to one. Carlos mm. Vela, uh, De Denny Buwanga is absolutely off the mark right now. Just killing it. They had, they had a buy. They didn't even play group stage games because they were the MLS champions, sadly over Philadelphia union. Oof. Um, and LAFC came in and blitzed them seven to one. So th what's really interesting here is that there's this age old understanding that Liga MX spends more. And Liga MX has deeper rosters salary, and there yeah. is still a degree to, yeah, there still is an absolute degree to truth to that. And let's be honest, Club America is still in this. Tigris UANL is still in this with uh, <laughs> Gignac and Diego Lainez. Uh, so there are some very, Luka, very right? good Liga MX teams. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I really do Club love America. this competition. Club America, look, yeah. there's history. Yeah. That's why League's Cup. This, I like to see. It improves both leagues. The visibility. You see more. 100%. And now with Messi. 100%. I'm going to say this. Messi, uh, before Messi had arrived in Busquets, they were the worst team in the odds to win the League's Cup. Since then, Messi has won every <laughs> game in the League's Cup. And honestly, they're contenders to win it. I can't. I, when are. I hear Dallas going to gonna yeah. be a problem for Messi, I'm thinking, no. You know why, Breton? No. Nah. You know why? Why? I think why? that the big, the best deal, obviously Messi is the best deal, but Sergio Busquets <laughs> has elevated <laughs> the whole entire team of Inter Miami to another level because that's what he does. Just like he did at Barca, yeah. he's doing at a lower level in the LMLS and League's Cup, as we see. A partner in huh? crime like Busquets for Messi, that is elite, and that's a luxury that no one hmm. in the MLS ever had actually nowhere no one in the world of football has ever had but not spain and barcelona inter miami yeah. has that luxury to have the best defensive mid in the history of football busquets and he True. is doing True. amazing passes and amazing moments so jordi alba Lionel messi yep. says you busquets mm -hmm. makes inter miami a contender to win the league's cup in my point of but, view but tell but us your early predictions that. we're gonna get to that no. Yeah, but not only that, just really, really quickly to, to expand on that, because Busquets and Messi, uh, this is the whole, like, make your teammates better. Mm -hmm. And immediately when you come in, you have a guy like Joseph Martinez, who knows Messi, right? And has already been very, very good and once was Atlanta, uh, Atlanta, Atlanta United's. I had to, you know, bring my American uh, accent back into because we were talking about Atalanta before. But Joseph Martinez and Miguel Almiron once Ooh. previously won the MLS Cup with Tata Martino and Atlanta United in front of 75, 80,000 fans. It mm -hmm. was insane, right? Joseph Martinez is now Messi's best friend, and Messi has already <laughs> put it on the platter. Joseph Martinez is supposed to be the selfish striker, and he laid off a pass to Messi for his second goal the other day uh, in their win over Orlando City. Of he did. And Messi has five goals because of Joseph Martinez, because of Busquets, <laughs> but also I have to... Robert Taylor. 
Finnish, whatever you want to call him. Finnish, I don't even have what his, you know, uh, com comparable uh, person would be anywhere else. But Robert Taylor was once in the lower leagues, the non-leagues of England. He was once playing uh, in the Vekas Liga, I think is what it's called, in the Finnish Premier Division. Uh, yes. And he comes over and he makes his way into Inter Miami. Uh, and he is not really seen as too much of a threat, although he has scored great goals against Philadelphia. Robert Taylor has now, I think he's got like three goals, four assists. He is matching the production of Lionel Messi because this is what happens. Yeah, so Inter Miami, in a very short moment, shows how when you make a big signing like Lionel Messi, it's the right character fit, it's the right time, uh, it's the right place. I mean, League's Cup, for him to come in, uh, he has already made... Uh, the majority of Inter Miami, Robert Taylor included, better because of his presence. And I agree with you. I mean, they're definitely a favorite for League's Cup right now, although they haven't gone up uh, against a very solid Mexican side yet. Um, so we'll see. But I am I'm rubbing my hands together, uh, Alex. But let's wait for the and semifinals. See. Let's wait and I, see. I want to see. The predictions. I want to see. I want to see Philadelphia your Union. I want to see your thoughts here. So we'll get to Philly. So. But at the West, okay. LAFC yes. versus Salt Lake. Who's go th who goes through? LAFC. Club Tigres against Is. Monterrey. Uh, Tigres. I mean, Gignac and Lainez, I mean, that... That's a oh, good team. Gignac. That team is a favorite, oh, in my opinion. Oh, I love Gignac there. Yeah. Uh, Minnesota against yeah. Toluca. Uh, Toluca is another favorite. That's one of the strongest teams. But Minnesota I think Toluca is good. have a great so. South African player in front, don't they? Great player. Yeah, they they do. Bunga Hollow, I don't know how to say his name. He's been on fire yeah. since joining them. But so. yes, I got to say, Toluca is just solid up and down. I think they'll uh, <sighs> they'll beat up on Minnesota's defense. I want to know this answer now. <laughs> Club America, <laughs> Nashville, Nashville of Mukhtar, <laughs> the MLS MVP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nashville is tough. They're playing at Nashville's house. Uh, although, I don't know. I'm gonna say Nashville on penalty kicks here, even though Club America. America is is one of the one of the best Club America uh, is one of the best Mexican teams left in it. Yes, for sure. Club America, get it done. I'm for them. I'm for them. Uh, if not Philly, of course. Philadelphia, you? New York. Who goes through, Bretton? Yeah. Philadelphia is going to go through on this one, hopefully in a little bit better way than they just got. Uh, they just beat DC United on penalties. So, so I'm going to say Philadelphia into the quarterfinals. Mm, I love it, Philadelphia. Okay, Gazda, go bold. So, Club Queretaro Chat. against New England yep. of Carl Gil. Mm. Who goes through? Uh, <laughs> Gil, man. Gil in New England. <laughs> Even though, you ready for this? Bruce Arena is on administrative leave. Because of something that happened behind the scenes, and they might lose their 23 year old Serbian goalkeeper, who's one of the best goalkeepers in the league, because he is pouting because he can't get a move to Europe. Um, so they'll be, uh, they'll still make their way through because they're they're that good. New okay. England is that good. It'll be Philly, New England quarters. And Dallas, Miami. Do you believe Messi's gonna get that done? <laughs> Uh, I do I do believe Messi's going to get that done, but 105 degrees is 105 degrees, and Jesus Ferreira is going to have something to say about it. Uh, <laughs> but obviously, me Messi and Busquets, I think uh, it's going to get weird in the late ones because every game is every four days. Ooh. Every game is every four days. And they'll get so, it done. It, they'll get it done. Yeah. They're, they're used to that. They're used to Champions League football. Right. <laughs> uh, and Charlotte, to finalize, Charlotte against Houston. Who goes through? Mm. I got. I'm gonna say, even though they're playing in Charlotte, I'm gonna say Houston's gonna win, uh, because Carasquilla and Hector Herrera uh, are actually playing pretty dang well, uh, and they brought in some. Um, they brought in some uh, reinforcements as the secondary transfer window has closed. So I'm gonna say a Houston Miami quarterfinal. So very um, interesting for me to point this out. In your predictions of the League's Cup round of 16, you only have two yeah. Mexican teams going through, which are Club Toluca. Yeah beating Minnesota, and then a Mexican team has to go through a club team against Monterrey. <laughs> so you have, yeah, to, uh, you have to have one. <laughs> I think Love I it. think out of them all, Toluca is a favorite to win this thing, even though there are a lot of MLS teams, and I'd love to say that they can win it. Uh, <laughs> I think Toluca, from top to bottom, is one of the best Liga MX teams, possibly the best team in this. 
uh, in terms of depth of roster. So we'll see. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love to talk about different leagues, especially you yeah. being a fan that loves MLS Liga Mexicana. So it's amazing. <laughs> but you at home. If you clicked on this thumbnail, you must like MLS and Leagues Cup and leave us your predictions of the round of 16, the quarterfinals too, if we don't talk about it before we get to it. Leave your yes. thoughts and go bold and leave a like in this video for more content just like this.